Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have a brand new bottle here on my cask. It's from the independent bottler Ado Redtray and it's called Cask Speyside. This is not a single cask whiskey. It's not a blended malt whiskey. It's a single malt whiskey from an unknown distillery in the Speyside. And the Speyside, well, they have approximately a third of all Scotch distilleries, malt whiskey distilleries on the borders of the rivers and uh, the Spey is the biggest of them and therefore the name of the region is Speyside. Um, this is a uncolored, unchill filtered whiskey, 10 years of age, 46% ABV and priced around 40 euros, dollars, pounds and uh, it's the first of that series and on the bottle it says first edition and now we have a look at the card box uh, first edition here on silvery ground and on the back they say uh -huh, uh -huh. Eddie limited edition cask Speyside captures the spirit of the region in a series of single malts with great character this first batch release was distilled at one of Scotland's most precious distilleries and exhibits all the soft, gentle hallmarks of a classic Speyside whiskey. Therefore, they are not allowed to give the name of the distillery. Tasting notes, color golden shimmer, yes, nose zesty lemon, creamy vanilla fudge, subtle mint and jasmine blossom. Palette a silky texture exuding barley sugar and hazelnut, living with cinnamon and concluding with malt biscuit and black pepper. Sweet, citrus, fresh and silky smooth. That's the general description. So here we go. And hopefully this green bottle, uh, card box, does not interfere with the green screen behind me. This is always a problem if the color is not, uh, is green and is not too different from the background. So this is a weird top. Pickles. This citrus note is on top. Zest is too much. It's a lovely, wonderful citrus note on top. And some some blooms, probably Yasmin. I don't know how uh, how Yasmin is smelling. No. Little vanilla, little caramel from the casks. And probably a little cooling from this note of mint. So the 46% ABV is not detectable, so the smell is strong enough to cover that alcohol. Yeah. Mild, sweet, little citrus note. Mm -hmm. Now the 46% comes through. A little mouth watering. The oak appears. A little maltiness comes through. In the back, a little nuttiness and probably a little fresh ground pepper, black pepper, but not very much. No. It's this fresh citrus note. It's a little sweetness in it, and the aftertaste is not too long. Yeah, so this is a well-made whiskey. Unfortunately, it does not carry the name of the distillery, but is well chosen. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come.